So let's talk a bit about how to summarize a categorical or qualitative variable, both graphically as well as numerically. So here, for example, we'll suppose that we've taken a sample and recorded the smoking status of individuals recorded as never, past, or current smoker. And we'll assume we've taken a sample size of 200. So here we like to use a simple example just for the sake of discussion. So the most relevant way to summarize a categorical variable is to count how many people fall into each of the categories or levels of the variable and then summarize that either using a frequency, a relative frequency, um, which also gets called a proportion, or a percentage. So let's take a look at doing that. The first thing we need to do is start by talking about a frequency table, or what sometimes gets called a frequency distribution. And so we have the smoking status, okay, and that, again, we've recorded as never, as past, or current. And again here, I'll put down the total. So here we can think of recording the frequency or the number that fall into each of these um, groupings for the categorical variable. So we've got a sample size of 200. And let's suppose that 110 responded as never smokers, 50 as past, and 40 as current. Then rather than recording the frequencies, we can convert this into a proportion, or what also gets reported as a um, relative frequency sometimes. So the 110 out of the 200 is 0 0.55, right? the 50 out of the 200 is 0 0.25, and the 40 out of the 200 is 0 0.20, for a total of 1.0. Or we can also report these as percentages, 55%, 25%, and 20% out of the total 100%. Okay, so for the most part, a proportion or a percentage, while there are slight technical differences, we'll use the two for the most part interchangeably when we talk about things. Now an important note about these is that this table here, again, shows the distribution. Again, that's a key word in statistics. You're gonna hear that word thrown around a lot. How are cases or individuals distributed amongst the different levels or categories of this categorical variable? So a, a suggestion, when you have larger sample sizes, it's often a bit more meaningful to report the proportion or the percentage falling in each category. If you had smaller sample sizes, right, suppose we only had 20 individuals, right, and we had 11 falling as never smokers, five as past, and four as current, Reporting those frequencies is gonna be a bit more meaningful or easier to interpret rather than reporting the percentages or proportions, which can be a bit misleading with smaller sample sizes. Now, if we wanna make a plot of these, right? it's nice if we can make a visual of this table rather than just looking at a table of numbers, especially when we have lots of categories or the table gets bigger. We can make either a bar chart or a pie chart. So first, let's start by talking about the bar chart. A bar chart, as along the x-axis, the variable. So here we're looking at smoking status. Again, this was recorded as never, past, or current. And along the y-axis, we can put the frequency, the proportion, or the percentage, right? The plot's gonna look the same. I'm gonna choose to put the proportion here. Since our sample size is not very small, I think it's more meaningful to report proportions or percentages and I'll just choose the proportion. Down here, we'll put zero, up here 0 0.50, 0 0.25. And it's important to mention here, you probably will never create any of these by hand, right? Use a, a computer or a piece of software to do these. We're going through and looking at doing them by hand for the sake of discussing the concepts and what they are. For the never smokers, they have a proportion of 0 0.55, so roughly up here. For the past smokers, a proportion of 0.25, and the current smokers, a proportion of 0.20. Now, in this plot, these bars are separated or spaced between them, again, to indicate that these are separate categories. There's no continuity between the two. And as noted before, this here also helps show the distribution for this variable. Right? How are people distributed amongst the different categories or levels? 
The one other plot that we can make for this table or for a categorical variable is a pie chart. The way a pie chart works is you start with a pie, right, or a circle. And again, this pie or this circle represents the entire sample. Then what we do is for each category, right, or each, um, each level or category of this variable, we draw a slice of the pie, and the slice of the pie should be proportional to the percentage of the sample they represent. So let's start with the past smokers. They're a proportion of 0.25 or 25% of our sample. So I'm starting with that because that's the easiest one to draw. Right, It's one quarter of the pie. And I'll label this here as being past. These are the past smokers. And it's also nice if the percentages or proportions are written in there. The next are the never smokers. They represented 0.55 or 55%. Roughly here, these are the never smokers. Again, 55%. And the current are 20%. This here shows the distribution for our sample. So another visual way of showing this. So one personal preference I want to mention here, while you often see these um, 3D pie charts shown because they look kind of cool, I'm going to really recommend that you don't do those, and it's because they violate one of the main principles of producing a plot. And I'm going to show you that here. Okay, well, my drawing's not perfect here, but the slice for the past smokers should be a little bit larger than the current smokers, right? 25% versus 20%. Now when you draw these 3D pie charts, they kind of look something like this, right? and they end up looking a little bit cooler. But part of the problem that they can cause as you can see, looking at the slice for current smokers, it actually looks a little bit bigger than the past smokers, right? And that's because your eye attaches all this extra area to the current smokers. The proportion of the pie they take up actually looks larger than it should be. Okay, so I'm going to really suggest that you don't do these. Even though they look kind of cool, they tend to be a little bit misleading. One of the key takeaways here is the most simple summary for a categorical variable is to count how many people fall in each of the categories and then convert that to a proportion or a percentage. Stick around guys, because we got lots more. Hope you guys liked the video. Statistics is hard to say, Poopaloo.